we have already learned about what a subject is. Now in a sentence, the subject and the verb share a very interesting relationship. What is it? Well, a verb must agree with its subject in number and person. Today, let us learn some more rules about the subject verb agreement. The Arabian Nights dash a very famous book. Well, in this case, what should be used? Shall we say the Arabian Nights is a very famous book or the Arabian Nights are a very famous book? Well, we know that a singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb. In this case, you might think that we have nights at the end. So this must be a plural subject and hence we should use a plural verb that is are. But it's not the case. Here the answer will be the Arabian Nights is a very famous book. Why is this the case? Well, because when the name of a book is made up of a noun phrase containing a plural head noun, then it takes a singular verb. Now the Arabian Nights in this case is actually the name of a book and it has this word nights in plural. So you will see that it has a plural head noun. Yes, this head noun that is nights is plural but still it will take a singular verb because it refers to the name of one particular book. So the Arabian Nights is a very famous book. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs dash a popular story. So are we going to say Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs are a popular story? No. Now in this case you might think that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a compound subject. So we have two nouns joined together by the conjunction and and hence we should use a plural verb. Well that is not the case because Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is actually referring to one single book. It's the name of a single book and hence even if we have a compound subject including a plural head noun, we do not need to use a plural verb. It will do with a singular verb. So our answer will be Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a popular story. The Incredibles dash a very enjoyable movie. Now in this case, what are we going to use? Are we going to use is or are? Well, you must be thinking that just because the name is Incredibles, we have an S at the end, we need to use a plural verb. But well, in this case, that is not going to happen. Why? Because it's a name of a film. You can see this is a name of a movie. So the Incredibles, although it has a plural head noun, it will still refer to the name of a single movie. And hence, we are going to use a singular verb. So the rule is, when the name of a film contains a plural head noun, then it takes a singular verb. So no matter whether the name of a film has a plural noun within it, it is not going to change the number of the verb. The verb will always be singular if we are referring to the name of a single film. The United States of America dash a large country. Now in this case, what will be the answer? Will it be is? or are. In this case, you must be thinking that we have states. So, it is referring to more than one state and hence we need to use are. But this is wrong. Why? Because the United States of America is the name of a country and hence even if it has a plural head noun, it will still take a singular verb. So when the name of a country is made up of a noun phrase containing a plural head noun, 
then it takes a singular verb. Now fill in the blank with the correct option. Gulliver's Travels dash written by Jonathan Swift. The options given to us are is are. Now what do we see? Gulliver's Travels that is our subject and it has s at the end but we see that Gulliver's Travels is the name of a particular book. Hence, we are referring to one particular book. So, we are going to use is and not are. So, are is the incorrect answer. The news dash aired at 8 o'clock every morning. So, what can we use here? Are we going to use is or are? Well, the news, it may look like a plural noun. And hence, you might think that we are going to use are in this case. The news are aired at 8 o'clock every morning. But this is incorrect. The news is aired at 8 o'clock every morning. So in this case, what do we see? That the subjects which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb. So in this case, the news looks like a plural subject but it has a singular meaning so with news we never use are it's always the news is hence we are always going to use a singular verb with news so the news is aired at eight o'clock every morning physics dash an interesting subject now will it be is or are well the word physics has an S at the end. And for that, we often think that this is a plural noun. But it's not the case. This is a name of a subject. So physics is referring to a particular subject. And hence, we always use a singular verb with it. So subjects which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb. So physics is an interesting subject. So we have many other subjects like civics or economics. In all these cases you see we have an S at the end which make them look like they are plural nouns. But these are all names of subjects. So if the names of subjects have an s at the end they are not treated as plural because they are all singular in meaning they are all referring to names of subjects so each of them refer to only one subject even though they have an s at the end hence we use a singular verb after the names of such subjects 20 years dash a very long time to write about so will it be is or are now 20 years so this looks like a plural now we are referring to 20 years so you must be thinking that we are going to write 20 years are a very long time to write about but this is once again incorrect why because 20 years is actually referring to a particular measurement of time and it is considered as a whole to suggest a single idea. Hence, we are going to use a singular verb with it. So here, 20 years is actually denoting a specific quantity or amount but it is considered as a whole and hence, it is going to take a singular verb as in is. So, never write 20 years are a very long time to write about. 50,000 rupees dash a large sum of money. So, even in this case you see 50,000 rupees is actually referring to a plural thing but it is considered as a single unit. And hence, 
we are going to use is after this so here too what do we see that this is a specific quantity which is considered as a whole and hence it always takes a singular verb 2 meters of cloth dash enough to make a cover for the table now here once again we see that 2 meters of cloth is showing a specific quantity of cloth which is required to make a cover for the table so here i am using it as a single unit therefore even though we have 2 meters we are going to use is so 2 meters of cloth is enough to make a cover for the table so once again it follows the same rule that a specific quantity or an amount which is considered as a single unit will take a singular verb fill in the blank with the correct option mathematics dash my favorite subject in school what are the given options was and were now mathematics is the name of a subject so even though we have s at the end we are not going to take it as a plural subject it looks like a plural name but it is actually singular in meaning because it refers to the name of a single subject hence our correct answer will be was we are going to use a singular verb after mathematics so correct answer is mathematics was my favorite subject in school so what did we learn today we have learned that when the names of books or countries or movies are made up of phrases containing a plural head noun then they are followed by a singular verb also there are names of subjects such as civics mathematics or economics or physics which end in s are also considered singular because they refer to the name of a subject and hence they are followed by a singular verb also there are nouns like news which are plural in form but singular in meaning even they take singular verbs also when we are talking about specific quantities or amounts that are considered as a single unit they are also followed by a singular verb we are going to soon learn about the other rules of subject verb agreement don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.